let's go. We as Rock of Salvation Community Church, we... She must start the song. And raise them as faithful stewards. Amen. We are going to be reading Basolani from Matthew 6, verse 9 to 13. We're going to pray, Basolani, that the Lord give us an understanding. I know it's the scripture that. We all know, but let the Lord give us a different revelation today as we are going to share on the theme that says God our Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Speak to us, O oh God. Give us your understanding. Unpack your revelation as God our Father. Mudumaka, this is your word. Speak Mudumaka to us this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you honor and we give you the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. sovereign God. Hallelujah. We read in the book of Genesis 
the first book of the Bible that God created everything. He created the heavens, the earth. He created the animals, everything that you see under the sun. It was created by our Father. Hallelujah. In the beginning, everyone and everything that we see and that God has created and after the creation, he said it was good. Who is this God that we are talking about? He is God our father and he is unchanging hallelujah he is the same yesterday today and forever hallelujah we are living in a world where everything changes there's const constant changes in our workplaces there's constant changes three years ago we did not know who there will be COVID but we see there is changes but we know but that our God he is an unchanging God he is an unchanging father hallelujah this is why the truth that God indeed he is the same Bazolani, yesterday and forever is so important in our anchor and hope in the world where life can be so uncertain Bazolani. life is so uncertain life is so uncertain Life is unpredictable, and that is why we need God, our Father. Two years ago, we have lost our Father. That is why I say life is unpredictable. We did not know that me and our sisters, as the world says, that we will be orphans. But I know the word of God assures us that there is no orphan. He is the father to the fatherless. He is the advocate to the widows. So that is why we need God our father because we don't know when our earthly fathers will depart God the father God the father he feels this gap he feels this loneliness of being fatherless the world is unpredictable. But we've got an assurance of our Father, who is God, the Creator. The book of Psalms 115, where is your God? He is in heaven and he does what pleases him. He is our God, unchangeable God. Wouldn't you want to have a father that is like our God? And that is why today, this morning, give this God our father. If you are a father, you have given birth. And you have not yet been fathered by this God. Hey Jehovah. It's difficult. And no wonder we see things this year. Because we've got fathers that are not fathered by God. Our father who is unchangeable. It is the firm foundation we can stand on when things seem to be falling down around us. We are standing firm. The book of Ephesians 6 says stand firm. You can only stand firm when you know, when you know it's in knowing that God is your father. Father. 
Hallelujah. Whew. God is love. We see it in the book of John 3 verse 16. When he gave his only begotten son. But he wanted to reconcile us back to him. And therefore that is why Jesus Christ had to die for us. So that we can be reconciled to God. Hallelujah. So we understand that above everything else, God is love. Our Father is love. Fathers love your children. Paska ratua kuntle. Paska blalwa hurlia rato kuntle. Basa blalwa kuhaye. And that is why we have children. Mabang sometimes in other situations. But let's go to Fatsi. Because they were never told at home that you are loved. God the Father, He is love. That is why you don't have danger of the Father who is not fathered by God. Because if you, don't, you are not fathered by God, you would not understand the love of God that He has. But if you are fathered by God, you would understand the love of God that He has. I love you. God is faithful. God our Father, He is faithful. The Bible is full of God's promises for individuals, for the in, in ancient nation of Israel, and for us to uh, as well. Many times in the Old Testament, it tells us how God's people turned away and sought to worship and desire other gods. Through it all, God remained faithful. But Mamela, God remains faithful. God remains faithful. That is why when you repent and you come back, uahurata or Bible ir harir haribali mila tu yaruna. God is a forgiving God. He is a loving God. He is a faithful God. That is our Father. God corrects us as a father corrects his children. God, our father, corrects us as the true father. God disciplines and he corrects. And correction are always done out of love. God's correction is always done out of love. You can read Hebrews 12 verse 3 to 11. Help our kids Help your kids to recognize the ways that God's spirit corrects us in our everyday decision and interactions with one another. How we can feel him prudding us towards decisions that reflect his love and truth. And how we feel convicted when we choose to disobey God. God loves us. And he always corrects us. As we are reading from the book of Matthew 6. The book of Matthew is a gospel that contains narrative history. Genealogy, parables, sermons and some prophetic oracles. It was written by Matthew the disciple of Jesus Christ around AD 48 to 50. The key word in Matthew is kingdom and is used 28 times. The personalities of this book include the Messiah, Jesus Christ, his parents, Mary and Joseph, the 12 disciples and prophet, John the Baptist and other kinds of leaders. These leaders include those in government like Pilate and religious leaders such as Pharisees who attempted to hinder the work of Jesus. 
The book of Matthew is the first of the synoptic gospels and it was written to reveal the Lord Jesus as the Messiah, the king of the Jews from the line of David. It also was written to convince the Jews that Jesus Christ was indeed their long-awaiting Messiah. As we open up and go to the book of Matthew 6, verse 9 to 13. Verse 9 says, And this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father. Pray ye, our Father. This is a relationship between us and God. You need to have a relationship. You know when you address your, your earthly father and you need something, Papa, you know, out of more Kikupa hundred randa. How Kupa or Papa Kikupa hundred randa Kiva Troyza Sena Lisena. It shows a relationship between you and your father. And here Jesus Christ is also teaching us that as we pray, we must say our father to connect us, to show the relationship, to show the connection between us and God. Our Father, Haizwa Lapeli Ire, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive other debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. When we say thy kingdom come, we are taught that the kingdom of God will be restored on earth. Because we are saying let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. That Jesus Christ will come again and reign in glory. Wickedness will be destroyed and the righteous will deal with the Savior. The words also imply our duty to help establish God's kingdom on earth. That is me and you to establish that God kingdom on earth. That will be done in earth as it is in heaven. We are reminded that God wants and reminds his commands and prophecies will ultimately come to pass. As it is in heaven, he rules over all. Not only God will, not only will God's kingdom will be restored to earth, but each individual needs to obey God. In all the hustles and hustles of life, we are reminded that in our lives, we are to testify to Christ and to seek to know those specific things he requires from us. God, let your kingdom, Father, that is in heaven, come also on our earth. And the next it says, give us this daily bread. Our God, the Father, he is the source of our provision. Give us our daily bread. We ask God help in our lives. Reminded that everything we have, it is at the bequest of him, from him. The talents, the gifts, the abilities, the materials, financial resources, all gifts that we have. The Bible says all good gifts, they come from God. So God, our Father, give us our daily bread. When we are in need, we look to no, look no further. Because that will give us our daily bread. We are his steward. And in truth, wholly dependent on him. We are wholly dependent on God. In our day-to-day -day life, Bazolani, we are dependent on God. Hallelujah. And that is why we are saying, give us our daily bread. Out of the home, going to school, going to work. I 
our Father who art in heaven. Hallelujah. We ask for God counsel. We ask for God guidance. We ask for God protection. As we are faithful, he will remain faithful. He will give to us, Bazalani, not necessarily what we want, but what it is good for us. He gives us what is good for us. Sometimes they are not good for us. And sometimes we want instant answers from the Lord. But baby, God, give us our daily bread. Meaning God, give us what we need on a day-to-day -day basis. Hallelujah. Baby, uskampa haholo kakataila. Uskampa hanya nemudimu kataila. And uskampa haholo kabeka ulebala. Give us our daily bread. And we must know that God gives us what we need. Bazalwan. Amen. And God forgives us. So we know our God, God the Father, He is a forgiving God. And we ought to be forgiving people. Yet we pray this prayer every day. The Father, the forgive us our debts. Other translations says, forgive us our sins as we forgive others. So we understand that God, our Father, also He is a forgiving God. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the gospel of love. The gospel of our father is love. And if you have the love of our God, you will forgive. You ought to forgive in the name of Jesus. We are commanded to forgive us, others, their offenses, as we expect God, our father, to forgive us. This is not just merely a monetary debt because it says forgive us our debts. We are not talking about money, but we are forgiving talking about the offenses let us forgive if we do not forgive how do we expect God to forgive and sometimes unforgiveness it's such a burden you, you react somehow and that should not be there just to forgive forgive Bazolani and be in good health. Hallelujah. And lead us not into temptation. Murutukila God does not tempt, but he tests us. And that is why he lead us not into temptation. The power and the glory forever and ever. We come into a full circle, returning to where we began. And as we close up our prayer fortified for the day and the coming night, we are being reminded of the effectiveness of God and that God is all power, glorious beyond anything we can conceive, that we will return. He will return and reign on earth and throughout to eternity. We need God in our daily lives. We need God and we need to praise him and we need to address him as our father. One last insight from the Lord's prayer. While it indicates our need to regularly, frequently solicit God, it also indicates our need to listen to God. God. We need to listen to God, our Father. It will be fruitless to seek and ask God without listening and replying to Him. The Lord's Prayer helps us fit us with a proper mindset for our life on earth. When we ponder its words, we will be reminded gratefully and better able to confront any challenges, Bazalwani, 
any situations because we know that God, he is our father. Hallelujah. Ke modimo wa rona, ke modimo ya riratang, ke modimo ya ditlhoko tsohle. Ha re bala ko Psalm 16. Ha re bala ko Psalm 16 verse 2, verse 3. It is how excellent are the Lord's faithful great my great pleasure is to be with him. As you read it Bazalwane, and it is verse 2 I say to the Lord you are my Lord, and the good thing I have come from you. So as we know in the book of Genesis, that we are all coming from the Lord, that just our Father has created us, Bazolani. The Bible says in the book of, in, the, in Genesis, in the book of beginnings, he said, let us make men in our image. So we are made in the image of God, Bazolani. Hallelujah. And as we are reading the last uh, scripture, in Psalms, Psalm 68, verse 5, Bazalan. Psalm 68. Verse 5. If God who lives in his sacred temple cares for offense and protects the widows. So the Lord, for those who are fatherless, the Lord cares for you. The Lord cares for us. God the Father cares for us. He cares for the widows. He cares for each and every one of you. And we are grateful to have such a loving God, such a faithful God, such unchangeable God, such a mighty God, such a God who provides our needs. He is the source of our existence. He is the source of our provision. He cares for us, Bazalani. And that is why even when Jesus descended, he never left us alone. He left us with God the Holy Spirit and we know that we have Jesus as God the Son so we have the whole backup of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit and we thank God for reminding us today that as we pray we say God our Father changing, and we give God the glory Amen Bazalwani that is what I had to share with you today, that he is God our Father.